Welcome to another AUG blog audio post located at AUGforums.com. That's A-U-G-F-O-R-U-M-S dot com. You can find the specific audio post at AUGforums.com slash audio post eight. That's audio post and the number eight. This is your host, Tim Rodman, coming to you live on Monday, January 27th, 2020 from Las Vegas, Nevada, where we are at Acumatica Summit 2020. And in this audio post, we are going to recap the announcements from today on Monday. It's the end of the day here. I survived the Acumatica party in the evening. And before heading off to bed here, I'm recording just a few thoughts on the keynote this morning. So I I was listening for four things. I was listening for updates on the acquisition and IFS relationship. I was, well, I guess I'll just start with that. Um, Related to that, the only comment really was business as usual. That was basically it. Uh, The Acumatica leadership remains the same. Even you look at the way they're putting on the summit, just like they've done in prior years, I don't sense any type of change going on. And no visit from Darren Roos, nothing other than a mention of the acquisition and business as usual. Second thing I was listening for was the Acumatica Manufacturing Edition either an acquisition or some type of announcement given that IFS is into manufacturing and that there's a lot of money that came with the acquisition. And sure enough, we did get an announcement on that. Just over the weekend, Acumatica acquired Joss Systems. Joss Systems is the company that built the Acumatica Manufacturing Edition which for the last couple years has been sold by Acumatica, but as far as I know, not owned by Acumatica. And so that was taken care of over the weekend. So congrats to the team at Joss Systems, John Schlemmer, Marilee Schlemmer, the whole team there, congrats. Uh, They built a great product. They built it in the framework and a great testament to their product there that Acumatica has acquired Joss Systems. So I think it's great news for us in the channel. It just simplifies things I would expect. At some point we'll see it get all the way into the core code. It just makes deploying things a lot easier uh, and in terms of uh, fixing things and requesting features. It now just follows the rest of Acumatica. So great news there. I was also listening for, third thing I was listening for was any definition on the market that Acumatica is going after versus IFS in terms of company size. Didn't hear anything there. And then the fourth thing, this is more on my to-do list for, since I didn't get to it today, for tomorrow. Not really during the keynote, but I'd like to dig in and learn more about Fulfilled by Acumatica, the Acumatica Marketplace, and how those contracts work from a business standpoint. So didn't get to that today. Hopefully I can learn more about that tomorrow. But definitely the biggest thing, in my opinion, today was that announcement about the acquisition of Jazz Systems. Uh, Great news, I think, for everyone. And made a lot of sense. I think it was just a question of when it would happen. I was hoping it wouldn't go another year, and it did not, so I'm very happy about that. All right, well, that's it. I'm off to bed here. Get ready for the fun run tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. If I can get out of bed, we'll see how that goes. But that's it for now, and thanks for listening, and I'll catch you on the next AUG blog audio post. Take care.